Brendan, are you really gonna do this? Are you really starting this challenge now? Road to Champions League, road to a European competition. Are you really doing that? Have you thought about it? Are you really doing that? Bonjour, guten Tag! What's up, bruh? day where there's no time to waste welcome back my people it's been a freaking long time but welcome back my guys welcome back and I promise you now that from now on there's gonna be consistency because in the last few months like there was just a lack of consistency. I used to do videos every single day and I know you guys missed that. But obviously, that's not possible now. But I really look for three to four times a week. Because that should be sufficient. Because obviously, I am still a football player. I'm not really a YouTuber. I don't see myself still as a YouTuber. Even doing this now for three and a half, four years. We have to focus. We need to just see things wisely and with tactics that a manager would say that's a tactic to win. We need to win this fight. We need to win this match. And with match, I mean my match against myself, against my demons telling me you can't do this, you can't do this, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. But on the other hand, with God, everything is possible. Always remember that. But guys, I'm so happy. Welcome back to the Brandao show. No, it's not really a show. It's real life. That's what people don't get. It's real life. This is not a show. This is real life. And all I'm doing is trying to inspire and motivate you guys out there to believe in your dreams, to keep going even after rejection after rejection, after rejection. Because the only opinion that really matters is the one you have of yourself. Guys, let me show you two things that are vital that you guys need, okay? First thing, guys, is this game. It's not advertisement or anything. Guys, I got this game from Aldi for guess how much? Three point 99 pounds it's like four pounds can you imagine like a proper scale for four pounds so you should definitely get a scale because for me i'm serious i'm serious i'm trying to be the best version that i can be and obviously body weight is so important when you play football like sometimes when you think oh you train a lot but you you feel tired on the pitch sometimes it can be because of your body weight you might be too heavy you might not eat the right stuff like nutrition is so important so make sure you you control your body weight and make sure you know exactly how much fat body percentage of fat you have and and muscles and all these things so important second thing is actually what you need I've been watching you come on Quaker O to make me sweat hey Quaker Oats of course because the time is 12 o'clock my first meal of the day Mmm, delicious, absolutely delicious. Bananas, strawberries, blueberries, and two sachets of Quaker oats with a bit of protein powder as well. 
Mm. Which protein powder? Salted caramel. So what is actually going to happen is I'm gonna have to make my way now to the hotel as train as striking for some reason so I need to get to the pitch or close to the pitch today today is Friday we're gonna have a match tomorrow and this is where this journey this challenge will start we're gonna play in the Welsh Cup and the Welsh Cup is a competition where all Welsh clubs can compete in from tier 3 to tier 1 we are first tier Premier League and we're going to play tomorrow against a third division team in Wales so this is really exciting as our match got chosen as well to be televised so it's going to be on TV which is amazing once again another opportunity to just get myself out there to get our team out there to perform and to literally just leave a good impression so that's why nearly packed nearly nearly packed so I'm currently cooking as well salmon, broccoli, courgettes, um, pepper, rice and black beans. I'm gonna take that with me on the train to eat on the train because before a match, the day before a match, nutrition is key. You have to eat loads of carbohydrates, protein and just feel good because if you, if you keep eating this junk food like you are getting nowhere, nowhere bro. So make sure you eat right. So why is the Welsh Cup where this whole challenge road to a European competition starts? Simply because if you reach the final, you automatically qualify for the, I think Europa Conference League qualifiers, which is good. In our league, nearly 99% certain that the new Saints, they are going to win the league you still don't know but they have won the league the past eight years so they are literally up there and our goal is literally to end up in the top six because if you end up in the top six you're going to compete in the playoffs and if you win the playoffs if you either end up second or third place you will qualify for a european competition as well so that's why guy it's not it's not really that far away anymore like from where we started Sunday League to, to here, like it's not that far anymore. So that's why we just need to keep pushing, need to keep working hard and keep believing. That's the most important thing. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Okay, you you once, I assume what the, the double Yeah, probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What time's your breakfast in the morning? Well, this room is not too bad. Two double beds, not two single beds. And one big bed, sofa, TV, and also with this lovely bedroom, a bedroom, bathroom. Not too bad, actually it's very very nice and this is the right way to prepare for a match tomorrow, Welsh Cup on TV and I think this is the best way to get a good rest and just be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> so that's me done for today, we've done some stretches to just make sure that we are ready and prepared and physically at the best shape, I feel good and I'm ready for tomorrow, 
really really looking forward to it especially because it's a cup game like anything can happen so we need to make sure that we're on it that we really just like don't give luck any room and we just smash them and i'll play them and just score more goals than them i feel good and when you just think about it like a few months ago i was in in the same situation like in a hotel room and just being so disappointed about this manager not contacting me or getting back at me but you know what everything in life happens for a reason and sometimes we don't understand the reason but few months later i'm here actually having the opportunity to compete in a competition when we do well we're going to play in europe this is just crazy so no matter what is going on in your life trust me keep going no matter what happens keep going that's all i have to say because I'm trying to be an example for you guys to realize that life is about keep going and only the strongest, the fittest survive. Only the ones that don't give up, they survive. With that said, when you believe everything is possible because God loves you. Always remember that. But I'm gonna go to bed. Time now is 11.15 match tomorrow is at 5 p.m so it's a late kickoff but we're gonna have enough time tomorrow so have a good night